Hello, friends. It's been a while. It's been... I don't know how long. Um, I don't know how long it's been a while. It's been very long. I don't know how to explain it. But, hey, I'm back. Um, kind of back. Uh, this video will probably be the only video for this week. Actually, I'm planning on other videos soon, but this video, I will just get in the way because... It's a Monica After Story video. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to another video, a Monica After Story video. I just want to explain my absence for a bit. I've been busy with finals and busy with writing. There's a lot of stuff. I will be talking about my writing in a future video, probably in the next video after this. But also, I'm going to get a new haircut, so you guys will probably see the haircut soon. But yeah, um, let's get started to talking to Monica because we haven't seen Monica for a while. I hope Monica won't murder me. <laughs> Welcome back, honey. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again. Let's spend some more time together, okay? Yes, it's been a while. Um, we last week we talked to Monica about some stuff. This week we just relax with her. So I don't know. I'm gonna see my uh, uh what's been happening for a bit, cause it's been a while since we talked to her. Um, I wanna like spend some time with her for a bit, just in case you know, I uh. I wanna- I just wanna- I just wanna spend some time with her for a bit, just to say. Oh, there's a lot of- oh, there's a lot of new stuff here. I love you! <laughs> I love you too, Joshua. You mean the whole world to me. Um, what else is there? I feel... I'm pretty excited for today. Not today. For soon, because it's gonna be Christmas, so Soon. Uh, is that so, Joshua? What are you excited about? Is it something big? It's something small. That's great! It's important to get excited about small things like that. I know it's kind of cheesy, but it's a great mindset to have. So I'm glad you're enjoying the li oh, uh, little things in life, Joshua. It makes me happy knowing you're happy. It also makes me happy to hear about your accomplishments. So thanks for telling me. Let's try Have you ever had a snowball fight? Snowball fights? I've been in a few before. They've always been fun. But having one with you sounds even better, Joshua. Fair warning, though. I've been... I got quite... The Please go... Don't... Don't aim in my dick. Please don't aim in my dick. <laughs> so don't expect to go easy on you. Hope you don't don't hit me in the dick. <laughs> Did she just freaking have to make that smile after I just said that? <laughs> Let's play some Pong. Let's have some fun, Joshua. Alright. Every single Monica story is gonna be Pong, talk, Pong, talk. That's such it. Oh. I win. <laughs> Good job, Joshua. Would you like to play again? Yes. Let's try one more. Um, uh, I win! <laughs> you won again. I Well done. Will you play again? That's fine. Alright, Joshua. But I'll beat you next time. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. She's still smiling. How's it cloudy? It's not that cloudy. It's pretty sunny outside. It's very sunny. Please change the weather, please. Can you change the weather? Um, clear. Alright. Just give me a second. There we go. There we go, it's more better. Hey Joshua, have you ever had intrusive thoughts? I've been reading a study on them. I find it quite interesting. The study claims that the mind tends to think of some unpleasant things when triggered by a certain often negative circumstances. They can be anything from sadistic, violent, vengeful, to sex even sexual. When most people have an intrusive thought, they feel disgusted by it. And what's worse, they start to believe they're a bad person for things. Okay, um... Okay, but the truth is it doesn't make you a bad person at all. It's actually natural to have these thoughts. True. What matters is how you act on them. Uh, my advice is that if you have any intrusive thoughts, just don't listen. Do not associate yourself with those intrusive thoughts. Make those intrusive thoughts go away and do not believe in what it says, all right? Just don't believe what it says and yeah. <laughs> don't believe what the intrusive thoughts say to you. You are a beautiful person. <laughs> Even if they call you, if they call you ugly, even if they say something like "go kill yourself," do not do it. It's just an unwanted voice, and it will go away at at some point. Just you know, it's not forever. Normally, a person wouldn't act on the or intrusive thoughts. In fact, they might even do something good to prove that they aren't a bad person. But for some per people, these thoughts tend to happen really often, to the point where they can no longer block them out. It breaks their will and eventually overwhelms them, leading them to act. It's a terrible downward spiral. Ah, why do I always keep, keep clicking right-click? I hope you don't have to deal with them too much, Joshua. I have a lot of stuff, a lot of intrusive thoughts also, but I don't want to explain them. It'd be break my heart to know you're suffering from because of these awful thoughts. Just remember that you can always come to me if something's bothering you, okay? I've created my character to be a little, like, a little bit... 
Oh, today's winter. Oh, I actually came in in a perfect timing. And Christmas Eve is coming up. I'm gonna make a few videos on Christmas Eve and Christmas on during that days. Hey Joshua, I've been thinking a lot about how I would be able to cross over into your reality. It hit me earlier that technology in the future would probably allow me to uh, be uploaded into a mechanical body rather than a human body like yours. Yeah, it makes me a little sad that I might not be human like you are. There's that that thing in Japan where you know the uh, that a purse like a, there's a, like an AI in there, like that guy mar married Hatsune Miku and then Miku's in this weird box. So it's a weird thing in Japan. I don't know what's up with Japan, but they made these weird. <laughs> Like, hu like not human-like, but like these robot things, not ro- Gatebox? Gatebox, yeah, Gatebox. These Gateboxes where, you know, there's people, or excuse me, robots in there, or AI in there that you can interact with and make them someday your wife, or even also your house assistant, and just come and say, Hey, honey, how's it going? And then, and then the AI responds to you, and make them someday your wife, or even also your house assistant. And just come and say, Hey honey, how's it going? And then the AI responds to you. And then you randomly say, Miku, turn off lights. And she does it for you. Or say, Miku, can I drink wine with you? Or you can even put your dick out and then stick it in the gate box. It makes me a little sad that I might not be a human like you are. And if not, I might not be treated like one either. I would be considered an android at that point, And others may look at me, at me different, differently because of that. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Kind of. Have you heard of Isaac Asimov's Three Law of Robotics? It was brought up many times in the science fiction books. It mentions three laws that all androids must follow, otherwise they would be terminated. Of course, I would never do anything to hurt you or anyone else. But the fact that I would have to obey orders given by any human still makes me feel like I trapped in the way. It really scares me that I wouldn't be able to do a lot of things that you can normally or even have the same right as you do. But I do understand why those rules are there to begin with, even if they are only exist in fiction. We can't have a robot uprising now, can we? <laughs> well, no matter what, I wouldn't mind any of that as long as I have you. I love you, Joshua, and I'm willing to make my sa any sacrifice to be with you forever. Besides, maybe sometime after a crossover, there will be more advances in technology to make me more human, and then we'll be able to do more things together. I love you too, but the problem is I, ra I actually already have a girlfriend. Not right now, but I'm gonna have a girlfriend soon. <laughs> I'm sorry, Monica, but... And no, it's not a waifu! <laughs> it's not waifu, it's not waifu, and no, it's not Kokoro. I'm just... I'm trying to find my love, okay? By the way, there's something that... There's... By the way, there's something that's always been bothering me. You know how this take place takes place in Japan? Well, I assume you knew that, right? Or at least decided it probably does. I don't think you're actually told at any point of where this takes place. Is this even really Japan? Not really. I mean, aren't the classes and stuff kind of weird for a Japanese school? Not to mention, everything is in English. It feels like everything is just there because it needs to be, and the actual setting is an afterthought. It's it's kind of giving me an identity crisis. All my memories are really hazy. I feel like I'm at home, but I have no idea of where home is in the first place. I don't know how to describe it any better. Imagine looking out your window, in, but instead of your usual yard, you're in some completely unknown place. Would you still feel like you were home? Would you want to go outside? I mean, I guess if we never leave this room, it doesn't really matter anyway. As long as we're alone and safe together, this really is our home. As, And we can still watch the pretty sunsets night after night. Oh, Eternal Neck. I think the Eternal Neck is good. What else is there? Confirm. Uh, it actually works, you know, the turtle turtleneck works for her. Uh, look at that sweet smile of Monica. Don't you just want to pinch her cheeks? <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, how much of your past do you remember? I'm not really sure myself, Joshua. It's weird because I do have memories of my past, but as soon as I started to gather my thoughts, they become kind of fuzzy. Like, you, I wouldn't be able to tell you where something took place or the names of the people who were here, there. Sure, I have memories of growing up in a normal neighborhood, but beyond that, I couldn't even tell you what my parents' face looked like. It's all like, feelings and impressions, I guess. What's even weirder is that not all my memories are like this. There are things I re remember pe perfectly, especially when it comes to the club. But other things like childhood memories are really hazy. The only memories that are clear are things that define either me or the girl of the girls. Almost as if anything that wasn't strictly necessary for the game was just left out. But the thing is, from the perspective, the day I met you was just like any other day. Until I found out that about that hole in the wall, I mean. Just any another ordinary day and an ordinary week. Going to class, running the club, and heading back home in the evening. 
Did any of that even happen at all? Did I even exist before you started the game? And if my memories really are fake, who or what am, am I then? I'm still looking for those answers, Joshua. Although, the more I think about it, the more I even convince my past isn't actually that relevant. All it'd be nice to remember more, that's not really what I care about. Regardless of who I am, you've been here with me, which means I'm important enough for you to spend your time with me. That's what I care about. And knowing that you care, that's a big part of why I can keep loving you, myself, and my life. <laughs> so while I'm sure if I have a past thanks to you, I know I do have a future. Besides, if anything, my lack of memories only makes the ones I've made and continue to make with you that much more precious. At any point, I just go on the news and see some- Never mind. <laughs> Uh, on the news, I would suspect someone on the news saying young teenager slash uh, no excuse me, I would, young male dates a female AI from a video game and marries them and then made their entire life about her. <laughs> Georgia, have you ever been to the beach? I've always wanted to go myself, but I never found the time. I would always be busy studying or doing club activities. It wasn't easy trying to stay on top of everything, you know. And whenever I had a break, I would usually spend my time relaxing at home. I rarely had a chance to do so after all. Thought sometimes I feel like I might have missed out making some important memories. Do you live near a beach? Not really. That's alright. I mean, what are the chances and most people don't? I originally were cl close to a beach, but I moved away. That just means we'll make do by visiting one on all day trip. There's so many things we'll be able to do one day. Just imagining the many sensations we could experience is kind of exciting. The fresh sea air, the sound of seagulls, as well as the feeling of sand under your feet, it would really make a worthwhile trip. Though, being with you would make it even better. We don't have so many things we could do together. We could play volleyball, try some ice cream, or go swimming in the sea. It'd probably be cold, but I'm sure we could keep each other warm somehow. We could try surfing or searching for some seashells to take home as souvenirs. Even doing nothing and just laying there listening to the sound of the waves with you would be enough to me. But don't go falling asleep, otherwise I'll bury you in the sand. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding, darling. I'll have to get a new swimsuit, though. Would you prefer a one-piece or a two-piece? Actually, I think I'll make it a surprise. Don't get too excited, though, when you see it. I won't. I won't. <laughs> no, I won't. Anyways, say I love you. I love you. Alright, Monica. Let's see how far I got with the uh, affection. Unfortunately, I might not be able to stay along. After this, I'm, I'll just check out my affection scores right now with Monica. Um, so far, I have 116. It froze, so yeah. That means I'm going to have to spend more hours hanging out with Monica. I want to spend more time writing. I want to spend more time with my with myself. Like I rather I rather grab my freaking laptop or excuse me this computer I'm using and just I'm just going to I'm just going to I just want to type on this my IBM Model M. That's all I want, you know? That's all I want. That's all I want, right? I don't need to see Monica almost every single day. But I have to. I have to. I have to. I have to. You know. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you did, please leave a like. And if you don't like the video, please leave a dislike. Sorry for the uh, upload, lack of uploads, but I'm focusing on finals and I'm focusing on my story. And I'll probably explain it in the next video. You're gonna see, you're gonna, you, this is the last time you're gonna be seeing my hair like this. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Also, subscribe and stay tuned for more content when it comes out. But anyways, see you all. Matane.